The purpose of this video is to bring awareness and to see my solution. Hello folks. You know, this Optera was certainly a great gift from my wife this past Christmas. I've only flown it twice, but in a traditional night flyer style and by request, <laughs> I put lights on it and test the wheelie at the airport. I also added the FPV camera for the trim flight after I added the lights. Well, due to the fact that the wings come apart at the fuselage and the wingtips come off as well, I decided not to wire the wings, but to simply put the battery out on the wings, kind of like a bigger vortex generator. The setup was the same as I always do by using simple FAA colors, red on the left and green on the right, as that's far less confusing to me than trying to fly a Christmas tree. <laughs> I also beefed up the wingtips plastic skids with metal push rods like I did on a tail skid. So let's see how it does at the airport today and how it looks in the dark at 27 degrees. Here we go. Got the radio on here, Hoptera wing. I'm just going to set that down right there and I'm going to plug in the battery, show you what happens. Now, all that's happened and I haven't touched anything. Now, what happens is, instead of putting the throttle up wide open and then back down to arm it, this thing is already armed. So if you bump that while you're trying to pick this thing up, and believe me, it's very slippery, I don't know why it's so slippery and it's very hard to grab. You cannot pick this up with one hand and fly it. You know, this is a big wing, almost seven feet long with a big 10 inch prop to boot. And I've really been cautious and very careful not to bump the throttle stick while trying to pick it up with two hands to get it in position to hand launch it with my transmitter hanging on the strap from my neck. You know, all my planes and helis, the other ones, all require me to move the stick to full open and then back to idle to arm the motor before it would run. And it's a safety feature left out on this plane for some reason, in my opinion. I mean, what could go wrong? Well, as you saw, that was just about as good of a hand launch that you could do and a good flight. It's trimmed now and ready for a flight with the lights on. Left is always red, right is always green. I'll stick that in there. You know, I'm a pretty experienced pilot and I've hand launched hundreds of airplanes in my time and know how to do it. But this big plane has a 10 inch prop and is heavy to launch. Notice how close the prop comes to my hand. The front camera wasn't running, I'm going to do it again. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh. 
Oh, I'm cut. <laughs> Ow! 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 Oh, I'm cut bad. Ah! I'm bleeding bad. It really cut me. Oh man, my finger is really hurting. I think I cut a tendon or something. I gotta try to land it. So with seemingly good hand launches, this last one actually really got me. Oh my God, you're not gonna believe this. I know the Optera is an older airplane, but I would bet I'm not the only one this has happened to. I am hurting. And probably won't be the last. So you know, no matter how good you think you are, shit sometimes happens. And believe me, I've learned something new, and I'm not gonna do that again. Let me know if you know anyone that this has happened to. Well, since this has happened and I now see how close that prop comes to your hand when launching, I would never ask anybody to hand launch it for me, especially not my wife. I was happy she was there as she drove a half hour to get us to the hospital emergency ward in town where I had to be x-rayed, given a tetanus shot, had two cut tendons repaired, and 27 stitches. It's a big problem close to your hand no matter who you are. There's no way to launch it by flinging it like a frisbee like you can with smaller wings as the wing bends if you pick it up at the tip, plus those big fins on the end of the tip are in the way. I'm not a person that gets thrown off a horse and never gets back on. So next, and three days later, I tried to launch it on my launcher, but as you can see it didn't work. It needs a catapult, but due to this pusher design, that would be more difficult to make like the one that I had for my EDF jets that was burned up in the fire. By the way, as you can see, my F-27 comes off this launcher just fine. I could attach a silicone stretch tube to uh, launch it, I guess, too, but I designed and built this launch dolly instead. So let's see how that goes. Note the string runs through guides there, and I did that just in case I would need a guide on the uh, runway where I take off so that it will go straight, there's no steering. Wires are there. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but the big red stop signs are also under the wires. degrees folks never give up minus 10 <laughs> well thanks again to Ilya and you know since this happened to me I just wanted you to be aware don't do what I did